Right, so we're going to recoil and rewick the Biden. I want to express that they're not designed to be rebuilt. So what you're doing now is you're hacking. And that's fine, it works. There's low resistance protection, so it shouldn't be wrong for you. But if you follow what, I've, what I said in the video, you should be perfectly fine. Just remember, the negative terminal is through the center to the gold pin, and the positive terminal is outside on the silver rim. It does work. When you're priming your coils, don't do it inside the pod because it will melt the outer circle. What holds the pod together and stops it from leaking. Make sure your coils are nice and centre, not too close to the metal, not too high, and definitely not too low. If it's too low, your wick's going to go up and down, and you don't want that. You just want it to drop drop out nice, nicely. Good luck, guys. I hope this helps. Can I say? Enjoy, and don't forget, guys. Stay cloudy. Right guys, I'm going to re-wick the 1.2 coil. I need to stress to you that the pods aren't designed for being re-wicked. So it's not straightforward. And probably not very safe. However, the pod does handle low ohms. So it shouldn't be too unsafe, it shouldn't blow up on you, yada yada. First thing we need to do is get the base of the pod out. A lot of people have said that it's not possible without breaking it, however it is. If you get your screwdriver down the edge, you see what a lot of people have done to get in, is going from the side. If you can see I'm not going in from the side. Where the nodges are, there's a little knot in the top. Going from the bottom, and you can remove the coils. Just got the top cap for a second because you don't need it. As you can see, you've got two coils here. You've got one on this side, one on that side. And they connect like most sub ohm coils do. They connect into the bottom of the terminals. So the next thing we need to do is remove a gold pin. Then remove a rubber. Make sure you do not lose either of them pieces. And then remove a gold pin. Okay, remove that. As you can see, here are the coils, part of the coils. They were held in place by the rubber row and the outer terminal piece. Turn it over, and now your coils should quite easily just slip out. We're going to give a better quick drying, just to make it easier to work with. Oh, you probably should anyway. You probably can't see it on my camera because it's not that good quality. There. You've got four rolls. You've got one up here. In this corner, and you got one here, you got one here, and you got one here. This is where the coils go in. So the one at this side goes in that way, the one at the top goes in that way. Right, so I've rebuilt the coils and put them on my Wismec with a drop tank to test them. Uh, they're in at 1.2 ohms, so I've got it perfectly right to the tank. They, um, I've used 28 gauge coil. And I've used 5 wraps, or 6 if you look from the top. Like I say, it's quite a bang on. So now, now that they're all ready, I'm going to take them off, put them back in the pod. Or put them in the pod. Let's see how we get on. Don't forget guys, a few warnings here. You can't burn the coils in the actual pod because it melts the it melts the surround and then it won't fit properly so make sure if you're priming your coils or anything do it off do it elsewhere do the testing elsewhere because you can't do it on the system i should also mention that i've used these at 15 millimeter diameter or 15 mil jigs right so as i said a minute ago you want 
the first coil through the hole in the middle which is quite hard to see it is a little bit like threading a needle it's feels a very small but they're supposed to be so this coil here is going at this side in the middle and in the back left corner the next coil in the back which that's in no it's not see so again side center then the back as well now my coils are they're even for good experience you want your coils even but as you can see they are now in right once you've got the coils in and you're happy with them the first thing you need to do is put the oil back on you can put that back on before you put the coils in next you need to bend the coil legs in to the next part easier whatever you're messing with the coil legs you don't want to skew the coils bang the top cap on making sure all four legs go in like so now we need to re-separate the coil legs yet again we are skewing them it's quite important that you make sure you've got one of each coil so as we look here this coil's going that way and we've got the legs that way the next thing you need is you need two legs through this rubber row and clamp the rubber row down making sure two legs stay at one side the other two legs stay at the other side this is quite important because this is where your terminal sit this is your terminal so if you don't get this bit right your atomizer won't work and it will short circuit Once you got that done, pull your other legs to the other side and then bang your centre pin back in. Bang, done. First thing to do is make sure his coils are alright still. You want them in line with the bottom of the hole. You can see that. Well, I'll do it, you'll see what I mean. If it's any lower, you won't be able to wick it properly. It can be a slight bit higher. And that's both of mine done. It can be a slight bit higher. What you do want them to be as more centre as possible. It is extremely fiddly. The next part is we need to put some cotton in. Just like anything else, because they're really small, you need to get a really small piece of cotton. And I mean like ultra small. Where you manage to get the cotton in, get a quick trim. And next, we need to bang the cap back on. Perfect, now let's get it go. There you go guys, if you need a proof, there it is. The Biden pod is rebuildable. Thanks for watching guys, stay cloudy.